everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. Do you believe this is the last day of February, February the 28th? And in the Christian calendar, we're actually in the second, second week of Lent. And we, uh, Lent is the period leading up to Holy Week and Easter. We love Easter because we feel especially connected to Jesus during this holy time. Now we've been learning about Jesus' ministry and his teaching to everyone who will come to listen. Last week, he told us that we are like salt. We can flavor the world by doing small things that make a difference. He also said that we are the light of the world by showing your love to others wherever you are and to help people know about God's love. Now this week, we're going to continue in Matthew the chapter 5, starting at the 21st verse. And I'm just going to basically tell you this version of it. Jesus was concerned. He was preaching on in the hillside again. And it seemed that there were a lot of people trying to get away with things. He overheard someone call a person a fool. And he decided to say something. Friend, Jesus said, it does, it's not good to call someone names. Oh, they'll get over it, they said. Perhaps, Jesus said, but maybe not. He paused for a moment. You know, when you call someone names, it's really the same as hitting them, or even worse. What do you mean? The person asked. Well, Jesus said, well, when you hit someone with your fist, they might get a bruise, but it will go away after a while. But when you hit someone with words, those hurtful memories can last a lifetime. The person said, I never thought about it that way. And they turned to the other person who, had, who they had called a fool, and he said, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. The other person seemed relieved and said, thank you for apologizing. I forgive you. Now Jesus went on to say, nothing is more important than the way we treat others. Why, imagine that you are on your way to the temple to worship. Pretend it's a very special holiday and you're going to be late. Well, while you're rushing along, if you remember that you had that argument with someone and you hadn't apologized and made things right, you should stop right there, go back and find them, and make things right. Someone asked, do you mean apologizing is even more important than worshiping God? Yes, Jesus said. The people in our families, our friends, and even our enemies are all God's children. We should treat every person as if they were the most important person in the world. That's how God sees them. Now, was there any time that, that, uh, that you maybe called someone a bad name, called them stupid or dumb, or you're playing a, a game of some sort and they do something wrong? And, 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 they, they just, and you just, just make, get, yell at them and make, make them feel so stupid. Is there any a time when maybe uh, you can forgive them, tell them you're sorry that they, that they did something to you? What is it when someone forgives you? Maybe you've done something to them and, uh, and, and then later they came back and said, I'm sorry, uh, I, I forgive you. I remember when our children were growing up, the boys especially, 
they were playing in the backyard and all of a sudden things got kind of nasty and they started calling each other names and then I hear him saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. So that's something to remember, but still you don't want to throw names out because later you might be sorry that you have done that. And, and also when somebody says something to you, yell at you or whatever, sometimes it may hurt you inside and it takes a long time to get over it. I wonder what would happen if, if you tried to always offer a smile and a kind word to everyone that you meet. Sometimes it's easy to make good choices and to do the right thing. But sometimes it's tough to make the right choices. When we make wrong choices, it's important to show that we are sorry. Now, Jesus tells us that we need to be honest and caring with people. Sometimes that might mean saying we're sorry for things that we have done wrong. That is not always easy. It might even seem impossible. I'm going to try something that seems impossible. It can help us to remember that even the most difficult things are possible if we ask God to help us. How many of you think that I can walk through a hole in this piece of paper? Let's see. I'm going to fold this sheet of paper. In half. And then I'm going to cut all the way. I'm going to cut about an inch in and cut all the way to about a half an inch of the other side of the paper. And then I'm going to make other strips about an inch apart. Now I'm going to turn the paper around and I'm going to make cuts in the opposite side. And I'm going to just stop about a half inch to the other side. And I'm going to cut all the way to, to the other pieces. I'm going to I'm just turn it to the side and I need to cut on the fold. So I'm going to start with the second piece and I'm going to cut across. I'm a little nervous, my hand's shaking. Okay, now I'm going to open it carefully. big piece. Now I can open the, pet, the paper and I'm going to step through it. Okay, stay there. See, I said that all things are possible through God. You can step through the paper. When things seem very difficult, like forgiving others, remember that it's not impossible. 
to forgive them. Let's pray. Dear God, sometimes it is hard to remember that you love all people the same way. Forgive me when I'm hurtful. Help me to ask for forgiveness when I make mistakes. Help me to treat others with love and respect. Hope you always show God's love to everyone that you meet and be kind to others. Love you.